Hey everybody, this is Jamie Buter. Um, I've been looking at a uh, number of relationships uh, here recently with a bunch of things, and I came across this, and I wanted to share this with you. Um, this is the, uh, the 440 hertz versus the 432 hertz, electric versus magnetic. And what I've done with it, all these, this, these are two octaves, all right, of each other, um, and this is all equal temperament. Okay, so we start with the A3 uh, at 220, 440, then 880, then with the two, uh, the 432, we got the 216 hertz, 432 hertz, 864 hertz. And these, like I said, these are all uh, equal temperament tuning frequencies, right? If we have no choice, if we're going to play a, a piano or a guitar, we have to use equal temperament and we don't have an option. So that's why I decided to look into this. So if you look at... Um, at Marco's work, remember we have uh, the one seven and the four are positive electric emanations. The two eight and the five are the negative electric emanations, and the three six and the nine are magnetic emanations. Okay, so looking at this, what I did was I added up all the digits using Pythagorean reduction. I added up all the digits of each frequency and I put them in this column here, and then I labeled them. So you see the green, we got um, positive electric, and the, the the blue is negative electric. And then the three, six, and the nine are the magnetic emanations. Now, something interesting happens when we when we look at these uh, these tunings, 440 versus the 432. We only have two magnetic numbers in this whole in this whole series. On the other hand, though, we have 15 magnetic numbers in A432. Now, that's that's a big difference, and I wanted to to look at what that might mean. So, going back to uh, to Marco's work and then the um, the family number groups. What if, uh, and we're looking at positive and electric, so what, what if, you know, everything in the universe is basically electric and magnetic and that's it? There's no such thing as gravity and some of this other stuff that they've got out there. It's just basically electric and magnetic. Um, if we look at uh, matter, what if the pH level in matter was based upon electric and magnetic field interaction? All right, and what if the more electric something is or a substance is, the more acidic it is, and the more magnetic it is, the more alkaline. All right, if we look at, uh, this is just one example uh, from Dr. David Williams here, is maintaining a slightly alkaline pH is key to preventing disease. Now, if you become too acidic, right, you, you feel co uh, constant fatigue, you easily run out of breath, frequent sighing, muscle pain or cramping after walking short distances, and you often feel like you can't get enough air, right? This is what happens in a very acidic environment, and also cancer loves to live in, in, a, in an acidic environment, all right? The more pH you have in your in your in uh, in your body the healthier you are we need to actually maintain a slightly ph versus a slightly acidic this is where the healthy range lies okay so what i'm saying is is that what if the the benefits of listening to the a432 or playing music in the a432 scale creates a mag a more magnetic environment because I know people, a lot, so many people tell me that the A432 is warmer, it feels better, uh, the A440 is more uh, tinny, it's, it's more of a, a high, it's a brilliant, you know, tinny sound, okay? And it, what if it is more electric because it doesn't contain uh, the, the magnetic numbers that, that the 432 does, okay? So this is just just a, a, a small example of, of what I wanted to, uh, this came across as maybe just a big coincidence. Uh, maybe just listening to the 432 increases uh, the pH um, in your body. You know, it makes it uh, a lot more alkaline, which then it eliminates the environment for which cancer and disease um, can live. So I just thought I'd share this with you guys. Thanks for watching.